Good morning, traders. So how do we trade the DAX today? Okay, so a couple of things. So yesterday we, um, I spoke about this um, indecision bar, and we've had a confirmation bar of what's about to happen, which is a move to the upside. Now, the question here is, is this a bottom, or is it just a retest of this breakout? So if we look at this uh, 12100 area, you can see we've got two tails on this level, and we haven't tested it yet. So I would expect us to come and test that area, okay, and then hopefully pull back to form a double bottom or a higher low, which would then give you the confirmation on the daily that uh, we could have a bit of a trend reversal and possibly just a short-term bounce, um, but uh, you never know. Okay, so for now the trend is down, so obviously we want to trade with the trend, so we want to be short, but uh, you can't be short down at this level here. Okay, reason being, it is a massive, massive area of support. Look at that. Right, so you want to be short, higher up, anticipating a break through the level. Okay, so for now, I am interested in longs and to see where we are going to go to. Okay, so if we just start with a four hour here, you can see how we've had this consolidation and then a nice solid bull bar with a bit of a 50% retracement on the bar. And if you don't believe me, you don't even have to do this. It's pretty much the norm to price. You can see you have a, a nice run like that and immediately a pullback to the 50% level. And at the same time, closing the gap here. Okay, so you see the tail there. Price came back to test that level, that breakout level, which is what happened, and then stabilized. So if we just transform that to a 30-minute chart, You'll see what I mean. So that was a breakout level there, and we broke up. We need to come test that breakout, which we have tested that breakout, and now we have a potential move to the upside. So what that basically means is that we have a, let's just be conservative, we have a 74-point target to the upside, uh, which is pretty much almost met. So the range breakout so this was the range we've broken out we've come back to test now i definitely would expect us to continue this trend to the upside today okay so let's just get rid of all the noise what are we looking for and again i'm looking for fractional levels and the two fractional levels that i am after are pretty much those two areas there so a break above 12,000 and a break below 11,975. Okay, so get your trend lines drawn in because that is probably the most important thing right now. You see how many touches we've had of this trend line? So that is a fairly significant trend line. And should it break to the downside, you can probably expect us to come and test some of these swing lows here. Uh, let's just take it off the four hour. Uh, there's an inside. There's my inside tails there. So that's kind of what you can expect. If this thing does break, you can expect us to come and test these levels of the downside. So the thing that I'm interested in on the four hour is that we are below the alligator, but look how the alligator is flattening out. Okay. Now, when that does happen, you can see here uh, it was down and then we wobbled around a bit, broke up tested the break, and then the upward trend started. Okay, so that's kind of what we're waiting for at the moment. So it's been a nice ride to the downside. Now what we're looking for is a change in direction. So looking at the hour, you can see we've had a breakthrough of the alligator, and we've also had a retest. So as so long as we stay above the alligator, this could potentially be a move to the upside. So what I'm looking to do is I'm looking to get long and uh, basically I'm just going to adjust this to this fractional level here. Reason being that is this, a one hour fractional as well. Okay, you see what I mean? Oh, there it is there. So this is the one hour fractional 
and then there is a one hour fractal to the upside here as well. So what I'm interested in is that this level holds. So this level of um, 11,960 needs to hold. So whatever trades I'm putting in, I'm looking to get long. So what I'm basically looking for is some an entry around here at the gap close with a stop loss below this um, uh, one hour fractional level. Okay, so I stop at about 11,950. So that's around a 40 point, uh, 40, 45 point stop loss. So that's fairly, fairly decent. And then we're looking for a move to the upside. Okay, so that's kind of my take on the DAX at the moment. Uh, yesterday was a pretty solid move. You can see how we had a nice one hour break above the alligator and you're looking for a retest. There was your retest. Um, and this hanging man here, so upside down hanging man, um, was a very good indication that um, there was potential for a move to the upside. Okay, so, so yeah, so if you are long, there's no reason to get out at the moment. This was pretty much a, a pullback. So what we're looking for is to see what happens from here. So I just want to get the actual close. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So the actual close was there roughly. So our actual close is sitting at 11.990 and the futures market is sitting right now at 12.021. So we are just above the actual close. So I'm expecting us to open in the same area here and then we're looking for a move to the upside. Okay, so it's going to be well worth taking this, uh, this long trades and uh, let's just see how, how far it can go. What we're looking for is this the alligator to continue pointing to the upside and for the buyers to step in and move up. Okay, um, what are we looking for? What kind of levels are we looking for? So I just want to get that, that daily breakout level. So 12,100. Okay. So that is the area of profit taking. Now you can hold on if you want to, but I can guarantee you that something's going to happen there. Look how that lines up with the 30 minute 200 moving average. That wouldn't surprise me if it doesn't hit the one, but it does line up with a 30. So that is the area of profit taking up there. Okay, 12,100. And you can be a bit conservative and look on the 30 minutes and look for these inside tails here. In other words, looking at that level there, which is uh, 12080. Okay, so that's kind of my take on this today. I'm looking for a long uh, stop below uh, 11960 and I'm looking to take profit around 12080 to 12100. Somewhere around that area I would expect us to take profit. Okay, and that is a 90 to 100 point trade. So on the DAX that's fairly significant uh, really a decent trade okay so that's my take on the DAX today i'm looking for a long uh, the only thing that's going to change my mind is a break below uh, 11 960. if we do get a break below 11 960, i'm not going short i will wait for price to settle um, which would more than likely be somewhere down uh, i doubt it will be lower than 11 895 so 11 um, 11,900, 11,890, somewhere around there, I would expect um, buyers to step in again and push the price up. Okay, so that's my take on this at the moment. Uh, I'm really just looking to buy any dip that happens. Okay, so hope it helps and uh, keep those stops tight and uh, enjoy your day. I'll catch up with you later. Cheers for now.